So I dropped my first Madden 21 rebuild the other day, and you guys really enjoyed the Steelers rebuild. So we are doing another one today, and in that one, I did record-wise the best team in the NFL, and today, record-wise, we are doing the worst team in the NFL. We are going to be realistically rebuilding the New York Jets. So pretty much, it's going to be the complete opposite of the Steelers rebuild. We are going to be looking for a quarterback in the draft, and that's most likely going to be Trevor Lawrence. I'm on Xbox, and I downloaded the uh, Draft Network mock dra or uh, draft class, so it doesn't have Zach Wilson in here. Don't know if he's actually declaring out of Baylor, but they do have at least Mac Jones is in here, like KJ Costello, Derek in or Derek King, uh, Kyle Trask from Florida, but mainly. We're looking at Trevor Lawrence in the Jets' perspective. We will also have two first-round picks from the Jamal Adams trade as well. And we started off and start today, so we're oh, oh in what, nine at the moment. But yeah, if you guys enjoy the Madden Rebuilds, please drop a thumbs up. The support on these makes me want to do them more, and I'm having a lot of fun with this. So, but so far, the Jets have landed a solid left tackle with their first-round pick in 2020. Mekhi Becton has been great so far for them this year. But the rest of the O-line isn't very good. Like, Connor McGovern's probably the second-best offensive lineman. And it's just not going to work out. Like, yeah, we're going to have to overhaul this whole old line. Chris Herndon, the fourth. I mean, he could be a good tight end. He, he Maybe a backup, though. Uh, we're probably going to look for an upgrade. And Ryan Griffin is not much either. He's also 30 years old. The receiving core, it's not horrible. Like, but they've just been hurt the whole year. Like, I like Denzel Mims out of Baylor. I think he's been solid in the games he's played so far. Jameson Crowder, I'm actually going to put him in the slot. We'll have... Bashard Perriman and Denzel Mims out wide, but we're definitely going to upgrade that. I like Sam Darnold. I just think he's in a horrible situation with the Jets, so we're probably going to look to trade Sam Darnold in the offseason if we are going to land a Trevor Lawrence or Plan B if that doesn't happen, Justin Fields. But I would like to go after Trevor Lawrence. I mean, we are 0 and 10, but uh, Frank Gore has been around forever, and Michael P. Ryan uh, as the, uh, I guess, backup running back at the moment. But we're going to look for, I think, a new running back as well. Maybe in the second round, we can get like a Travis Edna or a Najee Harris or a Chubba Hubbard. I would, I would actually like Chubba there in the second round. The defense, it's it has some pieces, but it's still not very good. I just re-signed Marcus May to a three-year deal. Uh, he's probably their best defensive player at the moment. If not, like you also have Quinn and Williams, who I like there at the right end position. He's 22 years old, especially in a 3-4. I'm a fan of that. Brian Poole, I also ate to an extension. He is 27. Also, I gave him a three-year deal. Pierre Desir, I believe, is also a free agent. He's 29, though. We'll look to see if we want to bring him back. We're going to have tons of money. But yeah, we're going to have to overhaul this uh, pretty much this linebacking core, free safety, and maybe the rest of the D-line. So there's a lot of work to do. I want to make sure that Jameson Crowder is in the slot for the, um, the team. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the end of the year. I'm hoping, I, I don't care what our record is as long as we get the number one overall pick. <laughs> All right, so I've been simulating week by week and we finally get our first win against the Rams. <laughs> Oh, okay, so the Jets are not going 0-16. You like to see it. We ended up beating the Rams by three. Joe Flacco got in a little bit, but Sam Darnold had himself a pretty good game. Uh, maybe up in that trade value is what we want to see pretty much. Jimerson Crowder had a good game as well. But yeah, not a lot of like excitement here. I just want to make sure that we're going to probably end up with the worst record in the league. Like I'm hoping the Jaguars aren't also 1-13 as well. Okay, so we have a two-game lead on the number one overall pick which means we just need to lose one more game here, either to the Browns, who are really good at Madden, so I'm guessing they will beat us. Please lock me the number one pick. There we go. We also have injuries on now, uh, as you guys know that. So we ended the season with two wins. We actually beat the Patriots in Week 17. We will upgrade everybody here. I just want to kind of do the players that I actually care about. Oh my God, Beckton's got superstar development. Let's go. That is huge. I actually kind of meant to do pass protector there, but uh, we get his agile up. He's got plus two pass block anyway. And then I want to upgrade Quinn and Williams as well. We'll upgrade his power rush. It's like really sad that there's only like four players that I actually care about here. Like there's just not a lot going for the Jets at the moment. Uh, Adam Gase, I guess, will technically still be the head coach. So I do apologize. Uh, I didn't end up changing his name, but uh, I'll just upgrade Denzel Mims. And uh, we'll, uh, we'll do Sam, Sammy D as well, because we're going to look to trade Sam Darnold to a team that could use a quarterback. I don't know what pick Madden will give me. I'm going to go pretty much off what Madden will do. Like if I can get a second for Darnold, I will do it. Uh, I don't know if a team would give me a second overall or a second round pick for a 71 overall quarterback at age 24, but we'll see what happens in the offseason. If we take a look at the 2-14 and 14 season, Sam Darnold, 10 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, not great. Uh, yeah, we're going to look for Trevor Wards, basically. Frank Gore is still doing it at age, what, 58? Uh, Sam Darnold had a rushing touchdown. He got one. Crowder had a pretty solid season for what this team was. Denzel Mims, I would like for him to be 
Like, I'd like these two guys to still be in the, the uh, wide receiver rotation next year. Maybe Mims out wide still, crowd in the slot, but then find maybe somebody that could be a number one. Uh, looking at the blocking, how bad was it? Uh, the comeback to get, actually, it wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. And then defensive-wise, uh, who had the most sacks on the team? Oof. Oof. Not very good. But Pierre Desir, Marcus May, and Brian Poole. Uh, all had pretty respectable seasons. So we didn't get any awards either. Uh, let's just get here into this offseason. So it is a Seahawks Chiefs Super Bowl. Could be a possibility this year in real life. I don't know if the uh, Seahawks D will be able to pull uh, hold up to get to the Super Bowl. On next gen, they actually added like retirements, which is pretty cool, and the playoff bracket. So it's nice to see that they actually added stuff to still current gen Madden on next gen. I'm hoping it's a completely different game on December 4th when we get a new look at it. But oh, Frank Gore retires. There it is. So let's get here into the re-signing phase. How many more players do we have? <sighs> Damon Harrison. Oh, he was hurt. That's why he wasn't there before. You know what? I'm going to give him a one-year deal. Uh, let's see. If he accepts that, I'll bring him back. Okay. Yeah, we'll bring him back on a one-year deal. Pierre Desir. Uh, he only wants a one-year deal as well, so I will give him that. I mean, he's probably better. No? Oh, okay. We'll look to bring him back in the offseason. Everybody else, we're going to let walk. We're going to pretty much get a complete overhaul here in... New or in East Rutherford. We'll probably get a new kicker as well. Yeah, so we're gonna have a lot of money to play with in free agency. So let's spend it. Because what's huge on having a quarterback that's a rookie is it saves you so much money down the line. So oh I would love Juju actually on this team. Uh there's a chance he might not go back to the Steelers in real life. I think Juju would actually be huge. He would be huge. Uh there's a chance the Steelers might not like want to pay him because they're gonna have to pay either Bud Dupree. Juju and Connor, those are the three main free agents, but then they're going to have to pay TJ Watt and Mika Fitzpatrick soon, so they might save the money there because they're already paying DeCasio a lot of money, Marquis Pouncey, Ben Roethlisberger, DeCasio, obviously some of those guys might be retiring soon, but let's give Juju nine mil, six-year bonus, and we'll give him a five-year contract. We are going to actually overpay a little bit for Juju, but he, see, it's annoying that on next gen, the bidding points aren't there, but we're obviously the number one, so let's hope we can snag him. I wouldn't mind me some Desmond King as well. He's 26. I'll give him a four-year deal. That is a lot of money for Desmond King, I feel. 93 points. That's a little bit behind Cincy. All right. I don't know if I want to give him nine mil a year, but we, we might just end up doing it. So let's see. 94 points. Still behind the Bengals. I wish I could see how many points. I'm going to give him a six mil signing bonus, similar to what I gave, I believe, Juju. If my memory serves itself. Uh, okay, so we're in the number one. Uh, Marcus Williams, we could use a free safety, but... I don't think I'm going to go after Mike Hilton actually could have been a cheaper option than Desmond King, but not by much, honestly. Yeah, so I'm going to really hope we get him. Not going to go after any quarterbacks uh, yeah, at the moment. Running back, same. Uh, we could go for a backup, but uh, we could just rock with what we have now. Fullback, I mean, we. Uh, I would sign Michael Burke because he's a scheme fit, but I'm not bidding against other teams for a fullback. But we're going to try to sign former Steelers fullback, uh, Roosevelt Nix. Uh, like I said, we are offering... Okay, AB is here. I thought that was AJ, but I don't know I was about to say, oh my god. But no, uh, AB, I mean, we can see what happens with Juju. We can see what happens with Juju. We're not going to sign a tight end. Actually, you know what we could do? We could sign like Moali Cox. Yeah, do like a two-year deal, and I can maybe low ball him a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. So we're going to want at least some solid weapons uh, for Trevor Lawrence next year. Left tackle, we're fine. Guard, Kalashio Assembly's 32. I don't really want to get into bidding more for him. Um, center, Mike Pouncey. No, not really that much of an upgrade to our Sweezy. No, thank you with Marcus Gilbert now. So, uh, left end, I mean, Kerrigan's 33. There's really no sense in signing these vets. D tackle, no. Right end, Trey Hendr uh, Hendrickson. I wouldn't mind, but like I said, I don't want to get into a bidding war um, for him at the moment. Tyus Bowser, actually. Uh, scheme fit, he's 26. If I gave him a three year deal, but I would want, I'm going to lowball him. Uh, we would give him like that. I mean, that's a horrible deal. It's 52 points, but hey, maybe we can snag him. Avery Williams to bring him back to the Jets. Oh, I forgot we have CJ Mosley now because he opted out. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> I'm an idiot. I, I, I forgot about that. I apologize. Uh, but yeah, we're mainly going after Desmond King. Hopefully we can snag him and Juju. And then let me offer a kicker a deal. Uh, Aldrich Rosas. Actually, no, I'm not going to bring in Rosas. Uh, Zane Gonzalez, he's 26. I will give him a three-year deal. Why not? All right, so let's see how many of those guys can we get after uh, the first week. We get Desmond King. That's huge. Do we get Juju? We get Juju. Let's go. We get most of the guys we offer. Wait, did, I think that even said we got Tyus Bowser on that deal. Yeah, I will definitely take that. So who else am I trying to sign? Malou Ali Cox and Roosevelt next. We should get them both. Honestly, that is a success. Yeah, bring back. A I should bring in AP and bring back Bell, right? 
Uh, but yeah, that is actually pretty huge for the team. Now we get kind of a wide receiver one for Trevor Lawrence next year. Uh, we'll have Mims on the other side, and then we'll have uh, Crowder in the slot. I mean, the O-line is still going to be really bad. That's probably the other pick I'm going to use in the first round. I would like to get a running back, a receiver, an O-lineman, and Trevor Lawrence with my first four picks. So we're going to pick up his option uh, uh, a year from now. Busy fact. You know what? I'm not going to pick up his fifth-year option. I'm not going to pick it up. But then we are going to trade him um, on draft night anyway. So, yeah, honestly, if I could pick up another second-round pick, I would love that. We get Roosevelt Knicks. And we get Mo Alley Cox. That is pretty huge. So before the draft starts, I want to see what we could get for Sam Darnold. I don't know if like maybe the Bears would want him. Let's see. Uh, they are interested. I mean, they. Uh, I like just want to see. Or they throw a first round pick? Probably not. It's close though. Interesting. All right, we'll keep going down, seeing who would maybe want Sam Darnold. Cardinals no. Chargers definitely not. Chiefs no. Colts maybe no. Uh, Cowboys no. Dolphins no. Eagles, no. Falcons, no. 49ers, no. Uh, Jaguars, no. Okay, might be the Bears are the only team that are actually interested. Pats, no. Um, damn, football team, maybe. Maybe. What pick do they have? They have 35. Would they accept that for Sam Darnold? They do not. Okay, but I would be willing to throw in. Let's see. Um, I would. Oh, we have two thirds as well. Yes, yes, yes. That's perfect. I would be willing to throw in my fifth and sixth if this can get... This trade accepted. And it does. So we move Sam Darnold to the Washington football team. Not really in a much better situation for him. But hey, I will take the 35th pick in the draft. So we actually have a lot of picks here that we need to hit on. So the first one, we're taking Trevor Lawrence out of Clemson. 100%. No questions asked. Sixth and true value. Hidden development. So he's going to be star or better. That's huge. You know what's funny? The, the Washington team took... Uh, Justin Fields. So why would they give me a second for Trevor War uh, for Sam Darnold? I don't know. So I could get Travis Edney here. Ooh, okay. Uh, let's look at potentially mm, Sam Cosme. He's got good ratings. And we are going to have... Uh, man. He's got good ratings, but the second round thing kind of turns me off a little bit. I could use a receiver, but maybe we won't. Yeah, I think I'm going to take... Oh, do I want Shovel? I could do, take any one of these. Najee Harris... Where do we take Travis? I might take Travis Henney. Bring uh, Trevor Lawrence, who's running back from college, to the pros as well. So, yeah, let's take Travis Henney. And he is third in true value, 31. And we took him at 31. He's going to be star better. That is a huge pickup. So, the Chiefs are next. They take Josh Myers. So, I think I'm going to take that tackle. I think I'm going to take that uh, left tackle. He was a left tackle, uh, Sam Cosme. Yeah. I mean... Damn, uh, Dylan Radnitz actually has pretty good ratings as well. A-plus pass and A-plus blo uh, block power. I might take Samuel Cosme here. I mean, if we're looking at right tackles, I don't think Daniel Falele is that much better. So just don't be bad. Just don't be that bad. Uh, let's see what happens. 71. Oh, my God. Yes, I don't care that he's 63rd uh, in true value. He's going to have star better development. That is so big. And we pick again. We had three picks in five selections that is kind of huge so i couldn't i could use a strong safety put him next to marcus may Ooh, hampson nasser Weeden, uh out of florida state we could use hmm, rashid jr um okay but i kind of like hamsa here he's a scheme fit as well yeah let's go him please be pretty good please be pretty good um hidden development as well let's go 20th true value we took him at 35 so we just directed four star or better development players that's huge let's go at 95 in the our second third round pick i took shaka tony who has hidden development as well i took a tight end with our pick prior and um he wasn't very good he'll have a uh, normal development so looking here potentially in the fourth round still that we have two more picks I mean, I should have took this tight end. Wow. Man, I messed up. I should have took that tight end. He's actually got great ratings. You know what? I'm going to take him. I'm going to take him. Oh, okay. So it was a good pick, but normal development, which kind of stinks. Oh, I took two tight ends. All right. The first one probably won't be much for us. And then with our final pick, let's see who we want to take. Honestly, this draft has been amazing, but you're supposed to have amazing drafts. Yeah, I'm going to take Patty Fisher, um, who was a solid pick, but probably won't be much for us in the fifth round. But um, when you have the first overall pick and two second round picks, two first round picks, two third round picks, you're supposed to have a pretty good draft. That would be hard to mess up. So taking a look at the full draft recap, I'm excited for this team this year. Like this team could definitely win four games. <laughs> 
Uh, but Trevor Ward and Travis Eddie, they're going to be super fun to watch the Clemson duo on the offensive side. Tango Kosi will be our right tackle because we have Makai back then on the left side. Um, Hemsa will be the starting strong safety next to Marcus May. Uh, Charlie Kohler was the other tight end I got. He is probably not much better than Eubanks. I don't know who will get the nod over him. Eubanks' ratings look better. Um, Shaka Tony looks pretty good as a right outside linebacker. And Patty Fisher, maybe something. All right, so for our season goal, four wins or seven. That's the goal. We're going to say four. Uh, I don't think we'll be much better. Uh, but yeah, looking at the team going into season number two, I'm excited. I'm very excited to see this. So the O-line isn't great, but we got solid tackles or at least promising uh, tackles on the side. Uh, we just got to improve the interior line next offseason. Mo Ali Cox will be the starting tight end. We're going to have Juju, and then I want Mims out wide as well. And then Crowder will be in the slot. We have Travis Endy at the starting running back. Uh, Trevor Lawrence, obviously. Roosevelt mix as our fullback. Um, injuries are on, so let's hope not going to win. No major injuries this year. Tony will be out there as our starting right outside linebacker. Oh, wait. Marcus May was a strong safety. I am an idiot, you know. I'm not very smart. So we're just going to move Marcus May over to the free safety spot. Um, yeah, I apologize for that. We got TJ Mosley there, Tyus Bowser, who we signed. Blake Cashman is 25 years old, but maybe uh, he could be something as our middle linebacker too this year. Uh, Franklin Myers is our leading sack guy uh, last year, and he's probably the third best D lineman this year, which is promising. We got Poole, Desmond King, and Busson Austin as our third corner. We'll probably look for an upgrade like that down the line. Special teams, we got Zane. Um, Gonzalez as our new kicker, and then Jamison Crowder as our slot receiver. So I will see you guys at the end of the year, and let's hope that this team shows some life and, you know, some potential to actually be good going forward. All right, so we actually, you know, we weren't that bad this year. We uh, went 6-10, and 10, we were 3-5 and five at the midseason mark, so then we went 3-5 and five to start the year, and then 3-5 and five to end the year. Not bad, honestly. I will take this season. I will definitely take 6-10 and 10 because I think next year we could possibly be a playoff team. Trevor Lawrence, we'll check out his numbers in his rookie year. Not spectacular, nothing crazy, but with a better O-line, maybe a better tight end or another receiver, we can actually make him be an elite quarterback, maybe as early as next year. Travis Enney was all right as a running back this year, but with a really bad interior O-line, that kind of was expected. On the receiving end, Jamison Carter was the top receiver. There's Juju. Not a great year, but uh, we might go to a different scheme next year. And you guys said that also playbooks matter a lot. So um, I think I'll probably end up changing our playbook and our scheme next year. So Damon Harrison actually led the team in sacks. Damn. Okay. Uh, Quinn Williams only had four uh, interceptions. Uh, Keon Crossan had four. Okay. <laughs> CJ Mosey had three. King had three. Um, and I believe Brian Poole had three. Wait, did... Uh, let me see. Please tell me that... Um, What's his name? Trevor Lawrence or Travis Enney got Rookie of the Year, Offensive Rookie of the Year. Please tell me that was the case. Uh, AFC Offensive Rookie of the Year. Yes. Perfect. Huge for their development. So Trevor Lawrence is an 82. He's going to be an 83 pretty much here. So let's get his field general up. Yeah, he's an 83 overall. Uh, that went up three points in um, Awareness 1, Play Action 1, and Throw Accuracy mid uh, two. So, uh, yeah, the Super Bowl is between the Bills and the Saints. Let's see who's going to win, Drew Brees or Josh Allen. I also downloaded a real 2022 draft class. I really want to get Sam Howell because I really like watching him play at UNC. Um, I'm still kind of a UNC fan. I was a big UNC fan for college sports going into college, but now I root for Temple a little bit more, but they're not very exciting when it comes to football. Uh, so one of these rebuilds, I definitely want to get them. Uh, maybe that'll be for like a Bears rebuild or something like that. So, uh, wait, who won the Super Bowl? The Saints ended up winning. You know what? I'm going to give Damon Harrison a one-year deal. We'll see if he accepts this, and he is not. Okay, so John Franklin Myers, I would like to bring back. Let's see. Will he accept that deal straight up? Okay, good. Um, yeah, we could sign off a Tukowski back uh, to a two-year deal. He probably could end up being the starting D tackle next year. And that is pretty much it for free agency. Uh, so we'll move over here to, uh, or excuse me, resigning period. Free agency, we have enough for like, or I'm comfortable enough for one big signing, and wow, that could be Jair Alexander. But I don't know, with Jair, I feel like, are we in a position to sign somebody? But I think we are. I mean, J.J. Watt would be amazing, but he's 33. Von Miller, 33. Michael, um, Mike McGillagy. Oh, he'd be nice, but we're good at tackles, so oh, Orlando Brown as well. I need interior O-line Gallup. Mm, Vander Esch get another good middle linebacker. Oh, we got to spend our money wisely here. What do I go after? I'm not going to go after another receiver. The left guard, nothing special. Jason Kelsey, Marquise Pouncey, Matt Paredes. You know what? He's 32. Uh, I would say he's an upgrade over Connor McGovern. So I'm going to just give him a low ball deal and see if he accepts this. I'm going to give him a 2 million. Yeah, that's pretty low, I know. But I would take that as an upgrade over Connor McGovern if we could sign him. Right guard, nothing much there. Uh, I'm not going to go after any, I think, D lineman. Uh, looking at the uh, middle linebacker or just maybe a right outside linebacker. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, now I'm fine with, I guess, our outside linebackers. Leighton Van Der Esch, man, that is interesting. Pair him up with T.J. Mosley. Ooh, and he's a scheme fit, and he's got superstar dev. All right, I'm going to give him a four-year deal. Pay him a lot of money, and we'll see if he... Please tell me that's enough. 96 is not higher than the Raiders. The Raiders are at, like, 99. Oh, that hurts a lot. That hurts a lot, because this is a lot of money allocated to him. We'll see if we get... Ah, so close. If I'm going to bid this much, I might as well just be the top bidder. Come on, tell me that's more than the Raiders. Let's go. All right. Uh, right outside my backer, I said no. I mean, Jair is interesting, because then that would give us three really good corners. Oh, man, Jair is interesting. I mean, if we offer Jair a deal, we would probably have, like, no money remaining to give him a deal. I mean, let me offer him this, and then... Yeah, because I don't think I'm going to land both him and Van Der Esch, so let's offer him this deal. Just kidding, we can't afford that. Let me go, like, less to this. I mean, wait, he doesn't have any bids. He doesn't have any bids. Let me give him 8 mil a year. Let me do a 6 mil signing bonus. He does not have any bids, correct? Oh, that is 55 total points. Jeez, whoa, whoa, I meant to, no, I want to give him an, I'll give him a nine mil salary, uh, we'll give him a six year deal, and we'll give him a five mil signing bonus, that leaves us with 2.58 left over, how do we not have the money for that, um, I guess obviously they got to take into fact the, uh, the draft as well, I mean, we could look to cut somebody, that is 54 total points, it's not very good, I mean, Juju obviously isn't great, CJ Mosley's got such a good contract, um, I'm just trying to see who we could release. I, I feel like we should have had more money than this, but uh, CJ Mosley's contract's so big. Oh, Jesus. Okay. George Fent. Yeah, we are going to be releasing him. Uh, free nine mil and a penalty of one. Yeah, that is definitely worth it. Oh my God. Yeah, please. Uh, Connor McGovern. I mean, if we get Matt Paredes, what is the penalty there? What is the penalty there? Uh, yeah, we're going to release Connor McGovern as well. So back to Jair Alexander. Yeah, we have a lot more money now. So I'm going to give him 9.7 mil a year. Wow, this would be huge if we get him and Van Der Esch. Uh, how many points is this? 61? All right, let me just withdraw the offer and then see. Yeah, that's what he wants. Okay, so we'll just offer him that 90 total points. And then let me go back to Matt Paredes here and make sure I pick him up. Um, I will offer him a little bit more money. Like 4.5. I just want to make sure I get him because I just released Connor McGovern because then we'd have now an even bigger hole at center if we can't get Matt Paredes. Uh, so please tell me we get... Okay, we do not get Van Der Esch, but we get Jair Alexander. That is fine with me. That is fine with me, but I would like to maybe get an upgrade at middle linebacker over Cashman. Um, Spillane isn't that much of an upgrade. I mean, Devondre Campbell... Um, you know, it's not even worth it. It's not even worth going after somebody. So we'll just keep the money for now. We just landed freaking uh, Jair Alexander. So that's pretty huge. Give me Matt Paredes. Please give me Matt Paredes. Oh boy. What is going on here? All right. So we're going to have to overpay for Matt Paredes a little bit because the Giants are trying to bid against me. Wow. They're actually going to give him a pretty nice deal. Uh, I guess we'll just give him a higher signing bonus. Like we can afford it. We might as well uh, land him 86 total points. That's not enough. Okay. Let me just give him a signing bonus of almost four mil uh probably an overpay and a half but i just want to make sure we get him because we have the money anyway and i'm not signing anybody else who's my fifth year option is it uh quentin williams it is we are definitely going to be picking up his fifth year option we get matt paredes that is huge so let's go to the nfl draft and uh we're probably gonna be picking around like pick 10 i would say uh no we're actually at pick five sweet so let's just see kind of who goes titans do they go sam howell no they take uh come on thebo uh zach harrison at ohio state goes next Derek stingley or sting uh stingley uh kyle hamilton and then wow sam howell is still here would you look at that i'm obviously not gonna go him oh uh, logan brown looks pretty good but we don't need to tackle we need guards i mean i was looking at some of these receivers man Garrett Wilson looks really good. George Pickens, eh. CJ Johnson, but Garrett Wilson, man. Oh, he looks really good. He looks really good. Joseph Nada as well. Sorry if you just heard my computer go off right there. Um, I have him in a Colts franchise I do for fun, and he's a stud. Uh, we could go for like a, an elite tight end. I mean, if like Baylor Cup's there at 28, I'll take him there. Um, but we need a guard. We need, we need a guard. Or I might just take Clay Webb and then move Matt Paredes to a guard position because, man, his ratings are so good. Oh, but I really want the receiver, man. I mean, can we just get Tyre uh, Linderbaum later? Yeah, you know what? Screw it. All right. I'm going to just take a receiver because I'm going to take Garrett Wilson. Uh, please be pretty good. 81 overall, third and true value with Tigger and Fabio. He's so good. Him, Juju, and Jamison Crowder is going to be a very nice trio for Trevor Ward. So I'm hoping at least one of those centers are there at pick uh, 28, which is another pick left over from the um, 
from the Jamal Adams trade. Uh, so let me see. Uh, Doug Nestor is a possibility. Um, oh my God, Clay Webb is still here. I'm taking him. Uh, 77, yep, 12th and true value. We took him at 28, that's huge. I know we maybe should have took a true guard, but I really couldn't pass up on him. Uh, we do have our second, correct? Yes, we do. It All right, guys, so the full draft recap, I don't know how much you missed or went out, but uh, yeah, so Garrett Wilson, stud. He's going to be out wide with Juju, who might be better in the slot, but we're going to have him and Juju out wide and then Crowder in the slot. Baylor Cup, uh, or we ended up taking Clay Webb at the end of the first round. He'll either start at center or guard for us, but he's going to be pretty good. Uh, Baylor Cup, also a high hidden development, man. We're going to have a lot of guys that start development. Cade Mays, a right guard. He might start for us, honestly, but he's not going to be that good. And then the rest of my picks really weren't great. As you can see, we took Tower Beach, Travis Jones, Ashari Crosswell, and Kevin Austin. None of them are going to be that good for us. But hey, I, I'm excited to see this team next year. I think we can improve on six wins, definitely. We had a gyre. Alexander, which is going to be pretty big. So, I mean, Cade Mays will be there. If I move Matt Paredes to a right guard position, let's see if he actually goes up. Um, so, he actually is a 79 overall. Yeah, so uh, we're going to move him to right guard so we can start Clay Webb at center. All right, so at the start of the year, let me just see if we have any preseason injuries. We do not. Let's go. That is hype. And then checking out the uh, lineup for this year. I am so excited. So, the old line is definitely the best it's been in the series. Sam Cosme or Samuel Cosme is now to a 74. He got back into the 79 there. Clay Webb. Um, in the middle, Parade is there, and then Alex Lewis is probably the weak link of the old line right now. Baylor cut the starting tight end. Uh, we have Garrett Wilson and Juju out wide with Crowder in the slot. Travis and Trevor there with Roosevelt Nix. And on the defensive side of the ball, CJ Mozi, Tyesh Bowser, uh, Shaka Tony as our linebackers with Blake Cashman as our other middle linebacker. Marcus May, oh my God, why did this happen? No, I'm gonna move Marcus May to a free safety. Let me actually just change his position. So him and... Uh, Nasir Wayden uh, will be our safeties. Uh, Desmond King, Jair Alexander, and Brian Bull. And uh, no other team was going after Jair. So that's why I was like, you know, I might as well offer him a deal. The uh, D-line might be pretty weak. But let me actually just see. Uh, well, I guess first let me make sure these are good. And James Crowder is our slot receiver. Damn, he is now not star development. He went down from star to normal. That does stink. That stinks because I didn't give him a contract extension as well. But what I want to do is go to my schemes and make sure that this is the best scheme. So multiple zone run. Uh, we could go to a vertical power run. Um, but honestly, I wouldn't mind going like, I don't know. Maybe we'll just stick with that. I guess vertical zone run we'll go to. 3-4 uh, under, we will actually go to a disguise 3-4. And then our offensive playbook, we will just run a Sean Mc... Mm, no, we're going to run a uh, Sean Payton offense. And then for defense, if playbook, we will run a John Harbar. So that'll be for me. Let's hope that we can improve on six wins this year. Hey, we went 10 and six and we get a wild card game. That is what I'm talking about. We're facing the Chiefs in Arrowhead, so we're probably not going to win. But I'm just glad we made the playoffs this year. Wow, three teams in the AFC East went 10 and six. That's kind of crazy. Uh, so Trevor Lawrence looked very good. Uh, 30 touchdowns to 11 picks, 4,000 yards. Very nice. Very nice season from him. Uh, can I see how many fumbles he had? Or that'll be under rushing, I guess. Uh, he actually had zero. Uh, Travis Endy was pretty solid. Better this year than last year. Uh, he had five rushing touchdowns. Um, and then Josh Adams out of Notre Dame had six, uh, which is kind of funny. But uh, Juju, 900 yards over. Crowder over 900 yards. Garrett Wilson over 800 yards. In his rookie year. They are cup was pretty good. And Jamison Garner had 10 touchdowns as well. Socks wise, 10 for Alex Luce and Mackay backed in. So the left side of the O-line wasn't very good this year. Sacks, eight for Tyus Bowser, five and a half for Williams. The defense was probably what's holding us back, maybe. Or the D-line. I would say. I would say mainly the D-line. So let's see what happens against the Chiefs here in round one. I don't think we're gonna win. I'm not expecting to win, so. Uh, it would be a nice surprise, and yeah, we get blown out. Oh, that was expected. That was expected. So, <laughs> I mean, let's just, I'm just glad that Trevor Lawrence got to like, see a playoff game. And actually, he didn't play that bad. He did not play that bad, but we were probably down by a lot, so I'm guessing the running game wasn't anything. And yeah, it was pretty bad. Uh, Garrett Wilson went off. Crowder had a nice game. Barrow Cup did well. All right, you know what? I'm just, oh my God, look how many sacks we gave up. Four. We gave up seven sacks. Damn. So I think we're going to be doing one more year because we've proven that we can make the playoffs. So we kind of rebuilt this team. You got the uh, Panthers versus the Chiefs in the Super Bowl. And the Chiefs end up losing. Okay. To the Panthers. 34 to 40. All right. So Matt Paredes, honestly, I'm going to give him a one-year deal to come back. 
Uh, please come back. Okay. I'm going to go uh, look to bring him back in free agency. We don't need to bring back Mo Ali Cox. We have, we're fine with the tight ends. Uh, Blessed Austin, I wouldn't mind him as like a fourth corner at all. Uh, and he accepts that deal. Everybody else, I think I might just let walk. Actually, let me just make sure I get back where he's holding next. Might as well just get a fullback on this team. Uh, and he, okay, we'll go after him fullback in free agency anyway. Where we actually have a little bit of cap space to make a maybe another major move. Mainly looking at D-line or O-line, so... Oh my god, and Nick Bosa's here. Oh man, and Michael Pierce is here as well. JJ. Oh, Ronnie Hudson. Okay. All right. Oh my god. Okay. There is so many good uh, D linemen here that we got to go after. I'm going to offer Nick Bosa a deal. I think that would be huge if we could bring Nick Bosa. The Dolphins are looking to bring him in, but let's give Nick Bosa a five year deal, 13 mil a year. Oh, baby. This would be huge. This is huge if we can pick him up. All right, we're going all in. We are the number one. Uh, team for Michael Pierce and Nick Bosa. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going all in. Uh, let me just offer a fullback a deal as well. We can offer... Oh, I don't want to get into a bidding war with a freaking fullback. So I'll go after uh, Carter here. Keith and Carter. Keith and Carter. Keith and Carter. Um, also, as I'm recording this, Chris Paul was just traded. So I'm going to make a reaction on my main channel after this. I was going to make a reaction on my second channel about Dennis Shooter. I still might do that. Uh, we get Pierce. No, we don't get Nick Bosa. Oh, I would have loved Nick Bosa, man. Oh, did he end up signing with the Dolphins as well? No, he, oh, he went back to the 49ers. That's fine with me. But damn, I would have loved Nick Bosa. I mean, we get Michael Pierce, which isn't bad. Um, I could still go after Kalias Campbell. Move him to the left end. It's probably not worth it at this point. It's not worth it. All right. Um, I mean, outside linebackers, anybody still here? I mean, we could go after Anthony Walker. He'd be an upgrade over Patty Fisher. I mean, also, CJ Mosley's kind of regressing, but I'm not going to do anything there. Um, uh, it sucks we couldn't get Nick Bosa. It is what it is. All right, so I just finished up the 2023 draft. It wasn't spectacular. We ended up going Eric Cooper, uh, Curtis uh, Pinkney. Uh, I don't know, some auto-generated guy, but I, I wanted to draft him. He had really good ratings and a combine, and just in case that Travis Henry got hurt. Uh, Jamal Springs, another right end. Not as good as Nick Bosa. Man, I would have loved if we got Nick Bosa. The rest of the guys pretty much won't be much for us. So if we make the playoffs, this will be the last year. I really wish we had Nick Bosa. Now I'm regretting it. Or I mean, it really wasn't like my fault. I'm not regretting it. I tried my best to get him. I should have gave him more money though. So it looks like we do have an injury to start the season. And it is Travis Henry. Nice. All right. But uh, it's only for one week. So that's why you draft insurance. But the insurance I got really wasn't that good. Uh, so we're going to actually start him there. But yeah, we have Becton, Cade Mays, Clay Webb. Um, oh, I forgot we didn't back eye down it. Or, uh, Paredes. Okay. Uh, Samuel Cosme is now normal dev. All right. Bower Cup. Tight end there. We have, uh, Grant Wilson, Juju Crowder. Okay. This offense is not looking as good as I wanted it to. Uh, the defense. I would have loved Nick Bosa on that D-line. CJ Mosley is also regressing. All right. I mean, we won 10 games last year. I think we got better. Let's just hope we did. All right, guys. So we finished up the season at 11 and five. We won the division. We didn't get a buy. So we're taking on the eight and eight Steelers in round one, a game we should be able to win. Uh, we beat out the Bills by one game to win the division. Trevor Lawrence was all right. Nothing crazy, but hey, he got the job done. I will take it. Travis Enney averaged a good yards per carry, good uh, yards per game. But you can tell he was hurt because of Michael Pirine. Has 113 uh, attempts. Receiving-wise, Juju was a stud. Uh, but that looks like the only stud on that team this year. Uh, Garrett Wilson and Baylor Cup didn't do much. And then there's Jamison Crowder. How was the O-line? Cade May... Okay, it wasn't that good. <laughs> it wasn't that good. Uh, looking at the defense side of the ball, did anybody get over 10 sacks a game? No. Um, and then interceptions. Two for Bowser, two for King, two for Jair. At least we have a really good secondary. That's what's huge. We, um, we don't have the greatest front seven. Uh, but our secondary is really good. So can we win a playoff game? Can we beat the Pittsburgh Steelers? And we end up beating them. Oh my God, by only three points. Are you kidding me? So Trevor Lawrence was good though. Uh, we went up against Jacoby Brissett. How to, oh, Travis Eddie's hurt. Yeah, I meant to check that. He's definitely hurt. Oh, Baylor Cup had a good game. Uh, back to, oh my God, we gave up five sacks. Jesus. Um, I don't think we got an interception though, but... Um, CJ Mosley and Jamel Springs got a sack. All right, I'll take it. But yeah, I did want to see... Okay, so the uh, Chiefs are 11 and 5 as well. How long is he out for? Please tell me he's not out the whole playoffs. Oh, boy. And we're without Michael Pierce. How Travis, I met Trevor Lawrence. Please, I don't think we're going to win this game. We're, we're, you know, we're not winning this game. We won 31-17! 
What? Let's go, we're going to the AFC Championship game. So we won 31 to 17 and Trevor Lawrence outperformed Patrick Mahomes. Let's go, the running game wasn't much, but we had two rushing touchdowns. Juju Smith-Schuster had himself a game. What a free agency signing from year one. We only gave up one sack, that's also huge. Did we get, um, we had two sacks of our own. We didn't get an interception. We're gonna take it on the Bills now. We get Michael Pierce back, which is pretty big, but I am not confident that we will beat them. I am not. Uh, let's see what happens. Oh man, I, I don't think we're gonna beat them. Did we beat them? We won! We won 24 to 10! Let's freaking go! That's what I'm talking about! And we are going to the Super Bowl. <laughs> Trevor Ward's outperformed Josh Allen, man. He's killing it. Rushing, oh my god, our game, rushing game is so bad. It's so bad. But Juju, man, who is Nick Felix? I got the fucking back. Garrett Wilson had seven catches. James Ricardo got in the end zone. I don't care, man. We finally, I think, got our first interception of the playoffs. Shout out to Desmond King. But wow, we're taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in the Super Bowl. Tom Brady versus Trevor Lawrence. The past versus the future. Oh boy, let's upgrade our punter. You know, we got to upgrade our punter. All right, come on. I'm nervous. All right. All right, here we go. Let's make sure everybody is upgraded. Trevor Lawrence is a 92 overall. Can he bring us a Super Bowl to the Metropolitan? Come on, give it to me. Let's go. Trevor Lawrence gets us a Super Bowl. <laughs> what, man? That is what I'm talking about. I did not expect that to happen. But we ended up winning. 20 to 13 trevor wards out okay it wasn't tom brady and he actually didn't play all that well he threw two interceptions but travis eddie was back and he didn't do much either um but hey we won the super bowl man i don't care i don't care how we did it this team isn't that good it's not that good i think but hey we had three sacks we're Super Bowl champions. I don't care, man. Hey, drop a thumbs up for that. I'm glad we were able to win a Super Bowl. Uh, yeah, drop a like if you guys do enjoy the amount of rebuilds. And let me know in the comments which team we should do next. Thank you all for watching. I love you guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.